An international con man, also wanted by police across the U.S., busted in New York. The charges? Stealing huge amounts of jewelry by conning store workers to let him handle expensive rings and other jewelry. And then he does the old swap a rooney, giving them a junk ring and keeping the real one for himself. He has ripped off jewelers in Manhattan and in Manhasset in Nassau County. Here's Long Island reporter Shante Lance. Yao Rong Wan, wanted worldwide by Interpol for jewelry heists across the globe, finally caught by police from Long Island, from Nassau County. Good, um, you know, they're on it. I, I feel very safe here. Surveillance video inside London Jewelers at Americana Manhasset Mall captures the moment on April 19th when Wan allegedly makes his move. Watch again. He points away a few times to distract the clerk before casually sliding the watch into his fist. A choppered watch worth $17,000. But I'm sorry because it's such a nice mall. Hard to believe, but that's chump change because police accuse Juan of stealing nearly $300,000 worth of jewelry from Tiffany and Company and Cartier in Manhattan in March and from Hermes in New Jersey. That's terrible. You know, we're in a world now that's so different from when I was brought up. Just like in Manhasset, police accuse Juan of switching out a $255,000 diamond and platinum ring from Tiffany and Company in Rockefeller Center and pocketing a $25,000 ring from Cartier in Hudson Yards. My God, that's a shame. Yeah, that's a shame. Juan is also wanted in South Korea for stealing more than $330,000 in jewelry six years ago in 2018. He's a prime suspect in a series of thefts from Cartier stores in Beverly Hills and Miami. The 49-year-old entered the United States illegally in December through San Diego, pleading asylum. Nassau police arresting the fugitive this weekend after working with NYPD to track him to Flushing, Queens. It's concerning, but I trust the police. I trust them to do a good job. They'll get to the bottom of it. I spoke with the store's owner inside and off camera. He says they've been in business and family owned for 98 years. Bottom line, he echoes police saying if you do bad, you're going to get caught. In Manhasset, Shante Lands, Channel 7, Eyewitness News.